Wired's Beat is the most exciting story of our time. It's the transformation of our planet on the most fundamental level. Wired had a mission to uh, report on the most important story of our time, which was a digital revolution. And its mission was to make this revolution understandable. We weren't prisoners of objectivity. Our mission was to deliver reality. Moore's law has been predicting the doubling of processor speed every 18 months. Well, we talked about the death of advertising. We talked about the death of politics. The idea that, that change was so overpowering that old things were just going to go away. And all of those notions uh, were way optimistic or just way wrong. The state is still around. Politics is still around. Advertising is still around. On the other hand, we certainly called the economic progress that uh, we're seeing around the world. And we did get right the fact that, that the internet would provide an alternative connection to reality that had previously been the monopoly of media. I remember the story that we did with Bruce Sterling on the future of war, which was the first cover story. The person that we were using to represent it wasn't a soldier or to represent the story, it was the actual person who wrote the story. Wired consistently put its authors on the cover, the authors became the, the, the heroes of the book, whether it was uh, Bruce in that issue, we had Doug Copeland on a, on a cover, uh, we had Neil Stevenson on a cover, and we did this consistently throughout uh, at least my time on the magazine. Other stories we wrote, the second issue, we had a story on, on cypherpunks, uh, John Gilmore. That was a cover story uh, where they were, they were masked on the, on the cover. One story that I am particularly happy that we did was about a mid-20th century philosopher by the name of Teilhard de Chardin. But what he was saying was that electronic technology was part of God's plan for evolution. The planet was being um, enrobed in, in, a, in an electronic brain that he called the noosphere. The world is radically different than it was 15 years ago, and uh, I categorize that as a revolution. In fact, we were saying that the Russian Revolution was like a schoolyard game compared to the change that's been driven by the uh, digital revolution. We're arriving at uh, new ways of appreciating the world around us, understanding the world around us, acting in the, in the world around us, and simultaneously creating another level of consciousness as we all connect to each other. These days, if you're at a party and you want to show you're well-informed, just quote from the most recent issue of Wired, San Francisco's revolutionary magazine about digital culture. And then there's the electronic version, Hot Wired. Way new journalism. But then you already knew that, didn't you? <laughs>